Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those who have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon, along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer at the court of the Kandake, or Queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact her chief treasurer. He was now on his way home And as he sat in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go up and meet that chariot. When Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? How can I? He replied, unless I have someone to guide me. So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this. Like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of its shearers, like these he never opens his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, Tell me, Is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting, therefore, with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is some water here. Is there anything to stop me being baptised? He ordered the chariot to stop, then... Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and Philip baptised him. But after they had come up up out of the water again, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip found that he had reached Azutus, and continued his journey proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea, The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound. Of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Come and hear all of your God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with thy praise ready on my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let's be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
Alleluia. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets. They will all be taught by God, and to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father, except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, everybody who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread, which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd, be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer for the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer for our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer for our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer, O God. We know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need. Hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful God bless and protect us the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.